Bastal TV. Bastal TV. All right, we back. Slam from Bastal Kennels, and today we live on Bastal TV. On this platform, we like to highlight and get flowers to those who are out here in the field with the dogs, not just bullies, the dog community as a whole. From trainers to whelpers to breeders to judges, we want to educate and never know who we may help in the process. And today, we got Zay from Muscular Bullies. Zay, what's up with you? What's up, man? Hey, man, appreciate you for having me today. For the people that don't know you, tell me the camp name and how you got started with the dogs. Uh, so my kennel name is Muscular Bullies, M-U-S-C-O-L-O-R, uh, Bullies, B-U-L-L-I-E-S. Uh, I started about, I want to say like four or five years ago. I was like 18. Gotcha. Uh, I was in school. I was just messing around, really. had got like into standards at first. Um, I was going to school in South Georgia. Everybody down there like standards, so that's what I was messing with at first. Then uh, started moving my way down to like shorter dogs, and that's how now I'm fucking with just the pockets. The pockets. What was your first dog? You remember your first, your first dog? Uh, yeah, his name was Hefe. He was a standard. Uh, Magoo, grandson, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and when did you say, you know what, I figured really start breeding and coming outside with these dogs? Um, I had got, when I first had him, I was studying him out. And then, I think I champed him out. And then I ended up giving him away for free. Yeah. And then, once I gave him away, I went and bought uh, two other dogs, and that's when I started like really, you know, like pushing my, you know, my yard. Your yard. So at this point, what you doing? Like two, three breeders a year, or you just something lighter? What you walk um, me through that when you first started? So at that point, when I had Hefe, I would probably breed him like, yeah, it was rare, probably like two, three times a month or something yeah. like that. Um, I ain't had no female at the time, so I was just studying him out. Uh, but you was asking about now or just then? Just then, yeah, yeah, then, yeah. That's what I was doing. That's what you were doing. And did you understand like quality, pedigrees, and all that shit, or you just kind of was winging it? Uh, so back then, I ain't gonna lie. When I bought him, I thought he was gonna be Merle. He gotcha. came from a Merle camp. Gotcha. Um, but he had Brindle, like he showed Brindle. Okay. So they was like, you know, I was thinking that you know he might still have Merle or be able to like produce it. Gotcha. But I had him tested. They said he couldn't throw no Merle. He never threw it. So yeah. uh, that's when I kind of start over. Because it's hard to push a dog with Merle in the pit, but it ain't hard. It won't produce no pit, no Merle. No Merle got so you. it was like, I just started over with, you know, with something else. And what got you into the shorter dog? You say you started with the standards. What got yeah. you into like in pockets? Uh, honestly, just that extreme. Yeah, that, that extreme. That extreme look that nobody, you know, really have. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, people would notice that extreme look from anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. So, that's what got me into them, really. And you said you champ, you, you, you had a champion dog, so when you start getting in the show ring? Uh, so when I first got into him, that was when I was really in the show ring. That was your first dog? Yeah, yeah. okay. But he was a taller dog, more clean. Yeah. Uh, standard. I think he was probably like 17 inches. 17 inches, so got I was you. showing him. Got you. And what made you get a male to start out with and not a female? Uh, at the time, that's really what they had. Males? That's, yeah, that's what they had. Got so. you. I really had got what they had at, them at that time, but if they had females, I probably would have, you know, probably would have got one of them. And too. was you, was you color specific at this time or like? Yeah. Yeah, you was color I specific. I love Merle, man. Yeah. And you moving the groove how you moving now, how bad is it to be color specific? It's real bad, man. <laughs> real bad. That's my biggest regret. Really, yeah. I think it set me back probably like, man, I had that dog till he was probably like almost three. Oh, because you thought he was Merle. Yeah. Oh, because you thought he was Merle. Yeah, that man, that man, that set me back probably, I probably would have been way up out uh, here way long time ago. And when did you start, when did you start thinking about like building a brand or like taking this real serious? What made you say, you know what, I'm finna lock in? Honestly, when I bought uh, Bad Medicine. Yeah. And his name just started blowing. I was like, shit, I'm just start, you know, taking it a little more serious. Right. And was he, was Bad Medicine a big, is he a, was he a biggest dog up until now? Uh, as in like size or like name? Like name wise. Yeah. 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 So we'll get right into it. Bad medicine. I, I've been saying this. People that's gonna see this, I never seen him in person until today. He one of the hardest pockets out. Yeah, I appreciate that. Bro. So talk to me about him. When you when you picked him, saw him, 
I mean, what was it about this dog? You say, you know what, I'm finna grab, I'm finna grab him and we finna do our thing. Uh, so honestly, really, I would, the guy who I was talking to, I wanted to buy a dog for him for a long time. Yeah. But he never had no males. He just kept his females. So he, re he really wouldn't sell none. Gotcha. But what he was doing was, he was selling his dogs for like 25 racks, but selling them overseas only. Uh -huh. So he wouldn't really have competition. So he'll just have females and sell them somewhere far. Gotcha. So one time, I think I was messaging him. It was probably like, man, I, probably like four in the morning, bro. And he was like, uh, cause I saw him post bad medicine as a puppy. Yeah. So I was watching him for like the first year. He was probably the same size he is now. Gotcha. At like eight months. Gotcha. So I was like, um, just messaging him, you know, contact him. And he was like, yeah, I got him available. And as soon as he said he posted, I sent him a deposit. Grab it. Yeah. So and how old was it when you got him? I want to say probably like 14 months. Did you, so at this point, did you know what you had? Like, did you say, oh yeah, he hit? Well, the thing is, I had to get him shipped here. Gotcha. So I really was like, he might have been got them Photoshop. Shop, or yeah, gotcha. But when he pulled up, he looked just like that. Yeah. He just had his ears on. Gotcha. And then I was like, yeah, I got some. Yeah. And, and, and. What's the first thing you did with him? Show ring, you bred him, you sat uh -huh. on him? First thing I did is start breeding him because I was in South Georgia at the time. Okay. Um, so it wasn't even no shows. No. Nah. I was in college. So I probably had to drive two hours just to get yeah. to a show. So I was just breeding him, um, really promoting him. And shit, he started promoting himself, like just started blowing up. Probably like, I want to say at least the first month, he probably had like. 15, 20 lock hands. And how important is promoting your brand? Because you say he promoted himself, but yeah. how important is that? Getting out here, you know, getting yourself known like that. No, that's most important. Yeah. Um, I say probably when I first started, I wouldn't promote him. That's, that's another thing I looked at. When I first had my first day, I ain't promote him. Gotcha. I'd probably take like a cell phone picture or something. And then when I started really like getting real photos and stuff, I mean like, Prices of puppies doubling, like stud fees going, like that's probably the most important thing. Cause a lot of people, they really you don't know that your promotion not that good until you finally like meet somebody who can who show you. Yep. Cause like before that, you would think this is the best picture you can get. Yep. So that's that's really important when it comes to this. And like taking them pictures, the videos, shit like that. You want the people I know that. You know, take their time with that. Yeah. You always start like that, or you just start seeing you like, man, let me. Nah, man. When I first started, I just post some raw pics. Some yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Man. But when you start thinking about it, it's like any any industry in the world, bro. Ain't nobody doing that. So I start thinking like, damn, like I go through. You might take ten pictures and be like, man, I can't post none of these. Can't like, post none of them. Yeah. But people don't think like that though. Gotcha. I'm gonna get right to it. I'm gonna ask one of my famous questions. Is bad medicine for sale? Do we have a price? <laughs> Uh, one fifty. Oh man. Two hundred. If he's, I say I put it like this. If he had to be, if he was sold, I have to still be able to use some of his semen that I got stored. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Have you ever thought? Have, what's the most you you didn't got offered if you could tell me for bad medicine? Uh, I know for the first, within the first year I had got offered like eighty. Eighty. Why you ain't take it? You knew what you had. Like long term. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. So let's talk about you bought bad medicine. Um, you champ cafe out. So now you buy him. Now walk me through what you're doing next. Uh, so now I'm pushing my females really. Okay. I ain't really too big on. I mean, he known, he famous or whatever. But right. Now I'm like pushing my production, my females. Okay. Um. Did you understand productions at this point that we talking about? Like how important production is? Not really. No. Nah. I wasn't really too much worried about him because the way his name was blowing, I'm just trying to, you know, breed him and all that. But now it's like, that's really what I'm, I want to see my name on the yeah. know, paperwork and all that. So. Gotcha. Uh, so, so at this point, did you understand politics and dogs and shit? Did you understand um, it? I know you know now, but yeah. did you understand it? Back then, not really. I mean, a little bit, but I think I probably learned like after Hefe. Okay. Uh, more so about the politics. About the politics. Yeah. Gotcha. And and would you say how long would it take? Did it take for his productions to like pop and say, okay, he producing now? Uh, with bad medicine. Yeah, bad medicine. Um, I'd probably say they was really 
they was popping quick, but you know it's a lot of people who like they see a puppy and they like ah oh, yeah, it's nice like yeah. But you see, I ain't gonna brag on no puppy till it's a year or something, you know. Gotcha. Um, so it probably took probably like you know like a year or two for them to mature because sure. he was so young when I got him. Gotcha. And when I first got him, he only had a, a litter on the ground. I That's think he it. probably at now he. I think APKC emailed me. I think he almost had fifty now. Okay. Litter, so. Yeah. Damn, he yeah. had 50? Yeah, so he been... And how old is he? He'll be five on Christmas. Damn. Yeah, and I think he probably got... I think he got a puppy or a litter in about 16 countries. Shit. So, he working on... Top three, top three bad medicine productions if you can think of them. Uh, one in a girl named Bella, she in California. She done had three litters already. Uh -huh. um, it's crazy because I ain't even gonna name no, not no males. Uh, All females. Damn, he throwing females like that? Yeah, I wouldn't name not one male. Um, Matter of fact, hold that thought. Talk to me about what he throwing. What he throwing. Um, so as far as females, they gonna be just like him. Gotcha. Uh, but you know, he a try though. So I had him color tested, like genetically. And he a try. Yeah. He'll so, try. And his dad, Lilac. So he basically is a lilac try, like color wise. Well, color wise, gotcha. So whenever I breed him to some, it's gonna he gonna throw tries every every litter. So when you first got started, I actually skipped some. When you first got started, let's talk about <laughs> the famous fuck ups. Yeah. Talk about whelping and all that shit. Like when you first got started, I know I know everybody went through it. Yeah. So when I first, well, the first litter that I actually had was with Hefe. I had his sister. I tried to whelp her litter. Um. I tried to let her give naturally. I ain't getting nothing off the litter. Gotcha. After that, I ain't whooped the litter since. I got a whoop for him. I ain't doing it. It's like that? I ain't taking no losses. Then the last litter I had, I lost a female after the C-section, so. Damn. Like, lost it. You talking about yeah. lost it. That's a brim daughter I had. Uh, only female off the litter. Mm -hmm. So I can't, you know, repeat, repeat that. Yeah. Uh, they was offering me like 20 when she was born, 20, 25 for her. Damn. Had one litter and she, she passed. Damn. TCI or surgical? TCI. Why? I ain't trying to cut them over. You ain't trying to, yeah. Um, but I ain't never tried no surgical, so I can't knock it. You can't, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, when I bred the brown, I had it sent here, did a, did a TCI once, and then she took, did a TCI with bad medicine. We had 11. Or 10. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, AIs too, I do them if they, you know, if they in person. But nah, I ain't never tried no surgical though. Yeah, and how, how important is uh is a dog's health and well being, like, you know, raising these dogs? Because yeah. we do this show really to like promote the breed, but like show people like you just can't get two dogs and throw them together. Yeah. So that's why I ask these questions. So, how important is like a dog's health and well being? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like. To, when it comes to breeding, honestly, I think that's the hardest part. Yeah. Because you can't look at a dog and always tell, you know what I'm saying, like, oh, this female, she can't get pregnant because of this, or she can't get pregnant because of that. I honestly feel like the top breeders, they win it because they can get their female pregnant. Yep. Yeah. Because your female will look pregnant, like, she'll look healthy mm -hmm. and not take because of some, like, yeah. I don't know, like a, a virus or something you can't even see. The number one thing I hate is seeing a good dog. That I can tell got worms. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that shit bothered me. Yeah, it makes yeah. my stomach hurt. Like, stuff like that. You'll see that a lot, though. Damn, man, that shit, that shit bothered me. Do you think it's a such thing as an Instagram breeder? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I've been one. Yeah? Until I start having my own production, I'd say that's what I was. But, but see, when I say Instagram breeder, I don't mean, like, oh, you mean, like, don't go nowhere. Yeah, don't go nowhere. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I think it depends on where they be at. Gotcha. But see, like, with me, like... When I first started, see, when Bad Medicine was young, I was going to all the shows. Okay. But now that he older and I'm just breeding my females, it's kind of like... Gotcha. It ain't no point in, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So it really depends on how they breeding. Because some of them, they just do it just to do it. But, you know, if you a female, you always got a female pregnant or something. That's, yep. that's one thing. But So if you could do it all over again, would you have started with a female or a male and why? Uh, Damn. That's a hard one. I think I would have started with a male. A male? Okay. 
But the thing is with the males that I try to tell a lot of people is like it's rare that you get a big stud. Yeah. That ain't like people think they just buy any dog from anybody and they like, yeah, I'm finna like all of them don't turn out to be like no. they could just sit there and not be breeding. So it's kinda risky with the males though. And and do you think you made more money than you spent? Or do you think you spend more money than you made in a dog game? At this well, point, I know I done, I done made more than I done spent. spent. Yeah, but at first I know it was a yeah. good rocket. But the only reason why I say I uh, made more is because the number of dogs I have. Okay. But I know when you a breeder and you got, you know, 5, 10, 15 dogs, that's a whole different story. Yeah. But I just got a met well, I got three males now. And then I had two females, one female passed. I kept one of her daughters, so now I got two females and three males. Gotcha. So I try to keep my numbers, you know, low. And I noticed this whole interview, and we were talking off camera, you speak a lot about Brim. You like that blood, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what made you um, tap in with that blood? Honestly, I like Brim. I like Rocco blood, too, but it's certain dogs in that blood that I like. Like, I like Brim, I like Rocco, I like Golden Child. But okay, yeah. I done seen Bram in person. I, I stacked Bad Medicine with Golden Child um, when he first was blown. They was blown up around the same time. Same time, gotcha. So I stacked him with Golden Child probably like three three different times, three, three different shows. Um, seen Bram when he was probably like a year. So I already knew he was going to be, yeah. you know, special. Um, but other than that, I ain't bred to no dog that I ain't never you know, seeing in person. Yeah, and when you first started, was you pedigree? Like, what pedigrees uh, was, you, was you mainly messing with? Uh, I like muscle tone at Mus first. Gotcha. Um, that's what really got me started was Magoo. Yeah. But the first dog I got, he ain't really too much tape, you know, that look. So I started like, kind of like looking at other stuff. Okay. So, um, Cause my female Magoo, all on one side, all Magoo. Gotcha. And then she got some other stuff in her blood too. Um, but yeah, the Rocco blood is more so, it's new compared to like when I bought my female. Yeah, yeah, yeah gotcha. Like, yeah, so that's why I ran her to it instead of buying some off that blood. See, I, um, I was just having a conversation with somebody. Minus micros, because I know they're supposed to have exaggerated fe features. Yeah. I think all American bullies should have two things. Bone and dog. Mm -hmm. I don't think it should be called an American bully. How you feel about that statement? No, I believe, I, I believe all that. American bullies should yeah. have bone and dog. They got to. Like, like, uh, like them, 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 them feet, them mm -hmm. easty westy. Yeah. Like, I just be confused. So my question to you is, how careful do you be when you be breathing? I know you be looking at the top, the bottom. Yeah. How you, you know what I mean? Uh, so that's honestly, if I'm being honest, when it comes to the Rocco blood, I'm glad you said that. That's what really attracted me to that blood because them dogs is extreme, but they feet be tight. Though. Yep, tight feet. Yeah, so that's what really got me on that. And a lot of people say their rears ain't the best, but yeah. you got one yeah. or the other. And I feel like when you're looking at that front, you got to make sure the front don't look right. But Boom, my next question, do you think all dogs got a flop? Oh, yeah. All dogs yeah. got a flop, even yeah. if you can't see it. Yeah, definitely. It got to be some in there. Um, like you said, if you can't see it, you might just... Yeah, you might just, yeah. 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 But a lot of times, it's going to be something like you're going to see. I mean, you might not see it, honestly. I can't think of none that I may not have. From pictures and stuff, I ain't never seen one on Rocco. Yeah. But, I mean, them pictures, so, you know. And do you think it's a such thing as a perfect dog? Yeah. Because I think, I think, uh, Trent Hawk of Bad Medicine. Yeah. yeah, I told you, they're my top two males yeah. that I've seen. I think they're perfect in American book, perfect yeah. American books. See, in my opinion, I kind of feel like it just depends on like the, how would you say it? Like, depend on how you like judge a perfect dog. I got you. Depending on, so basically it just depends on what you like. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like, like to me, it's some flaws like some people might not care about, you know, like when they say a scissor bite. Yep. Some people might be like, why? Nah. Yeah. But I mean, it depends on how bad it is though. Got you. Cause sometimes when you can look and they mouth closed, you can tell. Yeah. That's too bad, but tails is one of my pet peeves. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah too. Yeah. See, I gotta have a full tail. Yeah. See, stuff like that. It's like somebody might love it, and then some somebody might. might yeah. Yeah. They might not care. On TV, do the segment, yay and nay. If you agree with the statement, say yay. If you disagree with the statement, say nay. 
Call over Shorts. Nay. Merle over Lale. Nay. Male over female. Nay. TCI over Surgical. Yay. I'm Slam for Boss Dog TV. Tell me where to follow you at and let us know what you got coming up next. Uh, Y'all follow me on Instagram at muscular, M U S C O L O R bullies. Um, Facebook, Zamir Harris, Z A H M Y R E. Uh, so my next. My next breeding I have is my female Moolah. She off Hugo Boss. That's her dad, uh, Chocolate Try. That's a direct boss son who uh, Boss produced Rocco too. Okay, yeah, yeah. So she off of that Boss Blood. And then on the bottom, she all original Magoo, Casablanca. And uh, yeah, that's all she, had, she got. But on her next litter, she'll be bred to. I don't even know if I want to say that. Oh, shit. <laughs> she might go to Bad Medicine or she may go to a Chocolate Child Golden so uh, golden Child sign. Okay, cool. So um, that's what she got going. And then I got another female that's coming. She off of uh, Bad Medicine and Brown. Then um, I got two studs I'm finna open. I got a two-time Bad Medicine uh, sign. And then I got a sign of... Uh, Nah, Bad Medicine bred to a Brim daughter. So Bad Medicine and Brim in one, basically. And he uh, all lilac or lilac try. So I'm finna open them two males up. So that's what I got coming now. Say no more. I'm Slam for Ball Dog TV and we gone.